Hello everyone, I am Chitra CJ taking you ground improvement techniques. Today I am going to discuss about grouting technology, its groutability and performance. So we have discussed what is grouting. Grouting is the process in which you are inserting a grout mix or fluid into the voids of the soil particles so that you can alter the properties of the soil. In this, groutability is the ability of a grout mix to perform well. To obtain that satisfactory performance, the grain size of the grout mix plays an important role. The grains of the grout mix should be able to pass through the voids of the soil particles. And the pumping pressure of this grout mix should, be, should not be uh, large enough to turb that soil. So the pressure is limited to 20 kN per meter square. And the movement should not be too fast. And the rate of injection of a ground depends upon viscosity of the ground, permeability of the soil, and shear strength of the soil. Let's see the desirable property of the grout. It should have a suitable viscosity. That is, a grout having high viscosity can be used only for coarse and moderately permeable soil. Whereas, the grout having low viscosity is used for fine grain soil of low permeability. So that it is easy for that low viscous grout to reach all the voids. Now next is correct setting time. It should have the correct setting time. And should have a maximum volume with minimum weight. Should have proper strength, stability and durability. Stability. It is the capacity of a grout to remain in fluid state and not segregate into separate components. Setting time. The time required for the grout to set into cemented mass or gel. Early setting causes difficulty in the grout reaching all its void, whereas late setting causes the ground being washed away if the seepage is occurring through the soil. Next is permanent. Resistance the grout process against being displaced from the soil void system. All these are the basic characters of a good grout. Grouchability ratio. It shows the relationship between the grout particle size and the soil void size that is represented as GR that is equal to D15 by D85 and should be greater than 20. Whereas D15 is the particle size or the diameter of the fine particle at least 15 percentage of it is finer to finer and D85 is the particle size or the diameter of the fine particle at least. 85% of the soil is fine. So here, uh, in the case of soil, it should be D15. And in the case of grout, it should be D85. So let's see various grout materials. First is suspension. The grout particle in suspension is in the form, in, is in the form of a liquid medium. And it is a mix of cement plus water. Next is emulsion. It's a minute droplets of liquid in suspension can be as well as mix or determine with water. Next is solution with the chemical grout. The liquid homogeneous mixture of two or more materials with the chemical grout. So let's see a suspension grout, uh, grout with soil. If groutability ratio is greater than 20 and the soil can be used to fill up voids in coarser grain soil. And the soil that is used as a grout is of very fine of very very fine grain and the clay grout can be used to reduce the permeability of the soil and the kaolinite and illite based grout can be used to reduce the viscosity and can be used as a filler grout and bentonite is used to control the viscosity strength and flow property. Mud jacking method is used to raise the payment slab and to underpin the shallow building houses. So these are the examples of suspension grout. Let's see a suspension ground that is a ground with cement. In this, it is suitable for cracks or voids that is wider than 0.2 mm. Usually formed from ordinary Portland cement and water, and the water cement ratio is 0.5 to, uh, 0.5 to 1 and 5 to 1. And rapid hardening cement is used in ground in flowing water, and super sulfated cement is used for fissured rocks. And admixtures like bentonite is used to keep the cement particle in suspension. And example, seepage cut off beneath the dams and groundwater controls 
and in all these situation we can use these types of draw put thing i mentioned draw or asphalt emulsion the it is a solution in which a solute is present in the colloidal state and an or as colloidal solution and emulsion is a two phase system containing minute droplets of liquid in a dispersion agent like ethylene and water and the forms are created when the emulsion is mixed with grout material that is cement or an organic mixture and it is used to fill the rock pieces of 10 micrometer size and medium thick can be grouted flow setting emulsion generally shows and because they can travel long distances in the chemical grouting in chemical grouting the chemicals like silicates and arsenic resins are used and it solidify inside the solid soil wall and it can be acted as a heat barrier to the heat of soil around the soil surface and it is applied on the soil by the principle of this chemical grouting in the grouting in the figure you can see a process in which a chemical grout is being inserted into the soil using a high pressure hydraulic pump and the pressure can be monitored from the ground itself and can how the grout being solidified in the soil and the chemical grout can be inserted into the ground by a one is one shot system in which all chemicals are inserted together after bleaching and in the two shot system one chemical is being injected into the soil later on the second chemical is injected and the second one reacts with the first one to form a gel type liquid and get hardened later but the two shot systems are slower and require more injection pressure more control over setting time for viscosity and absence of particulate material are supplied In the figure, you can see the two-shot chemical system and the one-shot chemical system. In the two-shot chemical system, in the figure, you can see there are two chemicals and they are injected one after the other to the soil. And in the one-shot system, in the first step, in the initial step itself, they are mixed together in the mixed tank and then injected into the soil. Thanks.